Yeah. Hi guys, how are you? Hi Pami, I'm good and you? I'm fine. Hi Pami, how are you? Fine, thank you. Well guys, um, what do you think about today's topic? Well, what's easy uh, part, but the rest, I don't know. I mean, at the, at the first uh, style of email for me, I mean, it's very easy because it's an informal email. So it's like when we talk with a friend or something like that, we can use uh, an informal vocabulary. We can uh, use short adjective or short kind to say, kinds to say something, like what's up or something like that. I mean, and... It's used to to say something personal. I mean, nothing professional, nothing too important. It's just like a, having a conversation, a regular conversation. Yes. Then we have the formal email. In this case, it's like when you want to, I don't know, to ask for a permission or you need to, I don't know, ask something to... Um, I don't know, an authority, then uh, so, someone that is better than you, for example. <laughs> In this case, well, for me, it was easier, but, uh, but, easiest, but uh, the problem was the, polite, the vocabulary polite. Because, well, uh, I, I know how to write an, a formal email, but... Uh, I don't. I don't know if I. Yeah, I have the correct vocabulary to ask something. So it's easy, but well, we have some tips. In this case, is the first tip is use the person's job title if you don't know their name. For example, dear marketing manager. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have to start your email by clearly giving your reason for Please. writing then you can explain the problem. For example, I'm writing because I need a permission, but then I will ask, uh, explain why I need the permission. The other one is people are busy, so make it short and clear. Actually, we need to be directly there, straight to the point yeah. because, well, I don't want to, to read a letter for that. And if you have a solution to the problem, suggest it and politely ask if it, it can be done. Well, for example, I remember when you had to, to go to a New York and you told it to, to the teacher, well, I can be focused in the class by a virtual way. So the teacher was okay. And... Then finish by thanking the person to their help and offering to discuss the matter further if necessary. And the regards. As we were talking before, we don't know how to, to, to close the, the email. But, yeah. well, with regards. You're right. And the last one. And the last one was the cover email that was to... This is the kind of email that you are going to write to send it to an to a firm to try to get the job. And first of all, you, you have to try to find out to find out the name of the person hiding an address to cover the letter to them. Mm -hmm. And the last step of the email, it, well, in general, the the body of the email has to be really polite by using great vocabulary. Non, you don't have to repeat any word. You have to mention by using your an statement about who you are and the role you are applying for. Mm -hmm. Then you have to mention how and why this experience is suitable to the new company and role, mm -hmm. including any of your skills. And you have to end the email using closing statement that suggests further contact, as it can be, I look forward to hearing from you. These kind of emails are usually used to sell yourself in a company.
-hmm. Yes, basically this last style of email is like a summary of your CV, something like that. You have to say something quickly, something specific, mention something about your about your experience or qualities or skills, and then add the I don't know your CVs or another time to contact you, something like that. So it's it's trying to sell you to the to the company. Yes, yes, yes. And how was that? Yes, besides uh -huh. besides the cover. Besides the covering email, you have to send your CV as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yes, and how was your homework? Mm, so, so, I mean, the first, in the first email, I wrote a, an apologize to the teacher to not write yesterday in an informal way. The second one, I wrote an email about a new proposal to change the techniques that the teacher used to teach us the, the things on class. And the last one was the most difficult, as you know, and I tried to apply a job in a embassy in another country. So I have to be very polite I have to work the vocabulary in the United, United Nations website to know what are the duties that as a worker I have to do. So I don't know. I, I, I think that in the last one, I have some troubles. Yes. Well, for me, uh, it uh, was difficult too because, well, the first one was easy. I, I wrote to the teacher about I couldn't write to write to, to her before and I told he, I told her that I I will finish the course in some in some month and well something like that, that that for me is better when we are in at home and we are improving our English then in the formal uh, I asked her to have permission to go to a uh, business tour, but I needed the permission because I, I didn't want to to leave the course. Then the last one, I I wanted to apply to a manager assistant job. I tried to apply it with my with my career actually because I am student business administration, and I tried to give the I don't know my experience in the in, in the steps that okay, uh, what can can do in the role in the new job. Yeah. But it was difficult. I already knew that what is what was the cover letter because well someone explained it before, but I I don't I don't know how to sell me for myself, so it's difficult. Yeah, you're right. What about you, Chris? Mine, well, the informal one was, uh, well, for me, it was very easy because it was like I uh, sent a message to a friend. I write the, well, I asked the teacher that also was my friend in that, in that email, okay, that if, he, if she wanted to hang out sometime, so I was, I have been so busy and I, couldn't be in, in touch with my friend. The second one was that I I had to I had some issues with the qualification that she gave me in the project and I complained to that by using an email. And the third one that was the cover letter, I really don't remember what it was about. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> well, change to the topic. Did you see the video, guys? Yes, it was a nice video. Yes. yes and what do you think? Well, in my case, always that I keep is the speaker is nice because, I mean, it's remarkable how a kid could be such mature. 
it, it looked like a, a like a grown grown person. So he he talked. I mean, was nice because the the message was about that all people is different and that it's good. He talks about a friend of him that has. How do you say? Autism. Autism. And how that kind of stuff are not, we can see like a sickness or something bad. I mean, we can we have to appreciate and actually uh, there that different aspects are that a person could be special and unique. So that it's nice. It's difficult because the real world it's totally different, but I, I mean, it's a kid and was a nice message. Yes, such a nice guy. She ha hey, he has future in as a speaker. So <laughs> it, he really got me. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, he really got me because I was impressed when he appeared there by using different socks and different shoes like he says that there is how he feels comfortable mm -hmm. and such a nice message too like uh, every single person is different in their own way so every single person has something that make that person different that is something that is something good no yeah you're right um, <laughs> you yes me? and well actually i think that we need to understand that we are living uh with the without the approval to other people we, we don't need that we need to live what as we want to live uh, for example, well, I, I, I know that all of us are different and, well, why not? Why, why people criticize that, that kind of things? Why people spend a lot of time seeing what, what are you doing? And if you have, an, I don't know, a different shoes or something like that, people need to start to appreciate that kind of things. For example, the guy without the sim and, and he's different and he's okay he's he's fine with your life with his life and we can be happy yeah. I, I don't know i think that as stephen is happy in their in the in his weird life we can be happy with our weird things i know that i'm different and i think that that is amazing and you are different and well we need to be happy with that and respect. Yes. Show respect. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Because I mean, in the world are too many kinds of people, too many kinds of religions or beliefs. So we have to show respect and keep living in the best way possible. Yes. Yeah. Well, guys, I think that that's all for today. We don't have so, any any more to talk. So see you. Tomorrow, no. See you Monday, no, on Tuesday, yes. See you on Tuesday, bye guys. Bye.